great. Tell me he's the best husband without telling me he's the best husband. He is delighted to be here at Victim with us today. In the glorious rain for the final event of the year. He actually only came to deliver the motorhome, but he's been roped in to setting up Banksy's bedroom. Hey? In your work suit and shoes. You could do with a knife, really, babe. So that's the boy all settled in his stable. Dad and Robbo are just leaving. Daddy came up to pick Robbie up, so I've got the motorhome for the duration. Dad very kindly has come along to pick him up and drive him home. And now it's just me and Banksy flying solo for a day or two. I say a day or two, it's not actually a day or two. It's just an hour or two until my darling friend Holly is coming up, AKA Coleraine Capture. Lots of you will remember Holly from previous vlogs. Holly is actually who I went to Canada with last year. But yeah, she is kindly coming up to be some moral support tonight and tomorrow. And obviously will be capturing my dressage for me very kindly. But for now, until she gets here, I am braving the elements, getting out on the course and going to find the start box, which I thought was there, but that looks like that is just for the two star and three star. I'm actually feeling really good now I'm here. I've been feeling a little bit anxious this morning just because it literally is our second event of the season. We've literally, as you well know, if you follow, have done not a lot this year. And I've just been thinking, <laughs> little bit of nerves and yeah, anxiousness has kicked in. But now that I'm all packed, sorted here, Banksy's here, he's seeming chilled and settled and I'm in the start box, I'm actually feeling pretty good and pretty excited despite the weather, which is not exactly delightful. Didn't actually plan on starting the vlog until tomorrow because I didn't think I was going to be getting here in daylight. I thought it was going to be dark on arrival, but it is daylight. So I have come straight out for a quick look at the course, but I'm not going to show you that now. I will show you that tomorrow when Holly is here to capture the content for me. I'm going to go and have a little quick scoot around, get my miles in for my 100 mile challenge during October, which I'm a little bit behind on. So I thought, get out there now, get those steps in, and then we will rendezvous back at the motorhome when Holly's here. And I will show you the course tomorrow because the Cross Country app are ever so kindly being responsive of today's video. And they are fabulous. I've collaborated with them a few times. And their app is always my go-to for checking out courses that I'm going to, but also for checking out new venues. If it's somewhere that I haven't been before, often I will look on the Cross Country app and see whether the course looks doable stroke inviting. So it's not actually up yet because of it currently being Wednesday. The course for Bicton isn't up yet. So I'm hoping as well, if I scoot around now, I can get it captured and uploaded for them so that people that are still at home will actually get to preview it before leaving to come up here. Hi. Guys, Holly turned Hi. up. <laughs> and she led me astray instantly. It's only the first night. And she took me to the bar for one, <laughs> I will repeat one gin and tonic. And now there's gin on the roof. So <laughs> So then I thought I had to repay the favour and bought her back. She is staying here tonight, by the way. <laughs> the motorhome. And I was making us a nice, sophisticated gin and tonic. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> until the until the tonic <laughs> slipped out of my hand <laughs> and exploded. It fountain. Oh my god, my eyes. Fountain. I thought I was blind for a moment. But well done you for fixing the motorhome. <laughs> No, it's like so icicles. Proud. It's like we've gone back to Canada Hall. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, what a mess. It's everywhere. And look, we didn't use that much. <laughs> the whole bottle's gone because it went in my eyeballs. <laughs> oh dear. And my hair, as you can see. Wow, well, um, right. I better <laughs> carry on helping tidy up. Right. At least it was the tonic and not the gin, hey? Most important. Thing. Although it wouldn't have fountained if it was the gin. <laughs> Very true. Oh my goodness, it literally just like. What did it do? Like pressure washing my eyeballs. It... How did that even happen? <laughs> if this is the start of how my weekend's gonna go, I might as well go home now. Oh my goodness, Rob, don't watch this. She will be mad at me for getting tonic all over the motor. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta cook here as well. Oh, it's like a all of these non-fingerprinted bits that are now covered in tonic instead. Yeah, though. but it's a good way of cleaning, isn't it? Like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On the floor. Oh, sorry, I dropped it. It's literally like a swimming pool, a bit like Banksy's sable. Oh dear. Right. Anyways, rendezvous soon. We'll um actually should we just cut to the morning? <laughs> I think it's safest. It's gonna be a long vlog anyway. Cut to dressage. I'm filming in 
I was kind so of straight to dressage. Now. now you've changed that now. But then you are here to film, so it's best we film on the proper camera, not my phone. I'm actually just editing some footage that I've already woo, taken earlier today on my phone. Because I didn't want to take my camera out in the rain. It was expensive, you know. What do you think of the quality? It's, it's good. But it's in the cine, like, LUT, so I don't know if you're actually going to use this or not anyway. Um, it might be a funny colour. Yeah, compared to the rest. How's the gin? Delicious. Good. Thank you. Much better than the brilliant can gin. No, the can wasn't bad. It's um portable. What are you That's doing? That's the course for tomorrow. Ooh. What's the focus like? It's good. It's not tomorrow. Good. That's it's not actually. Great. It's Wednesday now. That's not till Saturday. I've got ages. We're on holiday until then. Oh, we do have the slight issue of dressage in between, but <laughs> be fine. I'm on <laughs> at oh about nine thirty tomorrow morning which is why we've come the night before, because in the morning I shall need to plat and stud. But that's why Holly's here, because she's going to help. <laughs> Go plat and stud. Yeah, Holly's going to plat and stud and film. She's going to do all of it, basically. <laughs> because she loves me. Of course. My darling friend Fee did come earlier, actually, and do his forelock in case I couldn't do it. She's very sweet. <laughs> and she helped me load the lorry. I'm very lucky to have fabulous friends. I was a little bit daunted about coming on my own, OK? I'll openly admit that. But and here, you've got and a nice message good. from Meg. I've got a lovely message from Meg. In fact, everybody needs a friend like Meg. I might even play it. Should I play it over my warm up? Yeah. You get some really content sweet. of my it's warm up. Lovely. And I will play Meg's lovely message. I might have to skip out a tiny bit in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> but when you need a bit of motivational boost, Meg is the person to big you right up. And on that note, she's actually coming down to support. I'm very lucky. I've got Holly tonight. I'm on my own tomorrow night. And then Friday night, I've got Megan Han coming, and they're coming to support me for Saturday Cross Country Day. It's all right. You know, I'm having a bit of a mare of a morning. Of course, I can't get it studded. <laughs> well, we've already had a dilemma because Banks has already been down to the dressage arena this morning by himself. Oh, I got it in. Yay! Um, yes, I came to give him his breakfast this morning. And I got round the corner, and his door was already open. And then the tunnel said, there's a loose horse, it's coloured with an orange hood. Which actually was a great relief, because my instant reaction was, where the heck is he gone? Heck, heck. Um, so yeah, he hadn't wandered too far, he literally just, that second got out, thankfully. Oh, but it has meant we're a little bit late, because I've just been fixing my stable. Kindly. <laughs> with bolts and drills and wood and screws and all sorts. Um... So that he now cannot bust the door open when he wants to go and do his own dressage warm up. <sighs> so yeah, a little bit behind time, but all is, we're not actually, we're doing okay. All positive, all good. Yucky weather. Actually, no, positive again. It's dried out a bit, hasn't it, Hole? Yeah. It's yucky when I first came down here. I'm tired. <laughs> I think we'll just plan to dress us for this because I want this to be a much more positive. Uh, look at Holly's fabulous plaits. Well done, Holly. Oh, not bad for first time in 15 yeah. years. I'm very, very grateful for them. I, I'm not very good at plaiting. Although I do remember I did plait last year for Bicton, and it shouldn't be such a big thing, should it? But they, they were lucky plaits then. So let's hope yours are too, Holly. Huh? Yeah. Did you? The last time you plaited was a year ago. Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I've only done one event this year. And Sam platted him at Launceston whilst I walked the course, so yeah, it will be a year ago. And I'm grateful that you did it last night. I would blow you a kiss, but bleh. Right, what's the next part of the saga? You are quick with that camera, aren't you? Next part of the saga is... Tits and teeth. <laughs> that is not meant to look like that. But thankfully, the darling Emily came to the rescue and has lent me her tap because Banksy stomped his foot down rather hard whilst I was tapping it. It's fine, we only have one hole left to do. So we shall remain positive. But I won't be getting that out in a hurry. Hopefully we can sort it out before cross country, but dressage. We will just be going with one stud in this foot. Hmm. Things are sent to try, I'll say hope. Yeah. It's all part of the parcel. Yeah. What did you say? How much does it cost you to come and do this? Wait, wait, no. To get the bucket. How oh, much bucket's is this nice. bucket? Well, please don't put it under his belly while I'm... <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind, do you, Banks? I know, not at all. He says I love it. Yeah. His left. My right. So, come to save the day. I oh, know, now you wish I kept him in there. 
so you're going to need to get up close. I'm going to need to get up close to learn. Ooh. Come on, holes around you come. So the inner stud has broken off. Oh, the tap broke off, not the stud broke off. So if you've got three flutes in the stud, the tap that's broken off, yep. you jam three farrier's nails in there, if you've got three farrier's nails. So always handy to keep in your stud kit. Yeah. And then you get a pair of pull-offs, which are also quite handy to have. Pinch as close as you can to the shoe twist. and twist um, them. Lefty Lucy. It should. Ah, just like that, you make it look too so easy. easy. Get the little piece out. I mean, you did say you have got a tool for it too, but actually it's easier to show us the way that we can... Yeah, or a pair of pliers. I mean, you could hold on to those with a pair of pliers if you really want to. It'd be difficult to turn it around, but yeah, there you go. Hey, thank, thank you very, very much. Good luck. I owe you a drink on Saturday night. No, you don't. <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you later. Thank you. Right, in you is go. That, no, I'm not going back in now. <laughs> I think I'll just put the stud in and take him to the lorry and tack up. Yeah. Can you hold him, please? Yeah, of course. Oh, he looks proper fed up already. Good morning, my little angel. We will absolutely still be there, mate. A little bit of rain ain't going to scare us off. No chance. Um, right. You're in one of those moods where you're feeling really like, oh, I shouldn't do it. I don't want to do this. Oh, what's the point? Stop. I've had enough of it, Tina. Bloody sort it out today. Get everything ready. I want it all looking spick and span. Nice and gorgeous. Ready to go and have an epic time at Victor. Okay, you've done one event this year. You need to get out there. Have some fun. Your friends are going to be there. We're going to have a mint time. We're going to get you sick content. Banks, he's going to bloody love it. He's literally born for this mate you have got yourself a nice irish horse who's going to absolutely lap up the mud you don't need to worry about his leggies on hard ground because he's just going to be going across beautiful soft ground potentially in the rain but literally mate he is born for this so you've got this get your stuff ready it's annoying that you're having to go down tomorrow but treat it as a little holiday go and uh, go and watch some of the other classes walk your course so you know exactly where you're going mate you can walk your right you can walk your roads and tracks and then you're getting more steps in for your walking october thing so that's another positive yeah mum's jealous she would love to go to victim right now right go and get your stuff ready you're gonna have a mint time and it's gonna be good and you're gonna qualify for badminton and then we're gonna have a freaking sick time next may half ten to make him slip behind then he will be reluctant to go forward to the bridle how's it feeling georgie Okay. Looks lovely. Looks lovely. Have faith. Just widen the hand a little bit, Georgie, until she accepts that. And then when you give, yeah, she shouldn't poke her nose. Yeah, she should stay there because she's accepted the contact. I need Perfect. to tire him out a bit, don't I? Yeah. Um, I'm not going to do that anymore. No. <laughs> Main thing I'm thinking on this left range, you've got to be able to see an even amount of brow band, okay? Yeah. You're just going around with too much bend. Okay. Yeah, to the left. So just think, keep the outside rein a little bit wider and consistent. So you're working on an even amount of brow band, even through your turns. Get him calmer on the left rein, rather than the right rein, where you know he falls in anyway. Yeah. Work him how you want on the left before you take that to the right. Does that make sense? Good. Stay on the left until you're happy. A little bit straighter in the neck, Tina. Even amount of brow band. Yeah, Tina's moved flowers further away from the entrance this year. Yeah, perfect. perfect. <laughs> no excuses. Did you give them some wine for that? Eyes up. Yeah. Just put in several canter top canter transitions. Yeah. Yeah. So that the canter doesn't just get on with bounce. Yeah, it is. Just go canter for six strides, trot for six strides. Canter for six strides, trot for six strides. Okay. Good. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's relevant, Tina. Yeah. Keep the contact. Canter. Good. I want little tiny transitions. Okay. Good. 
just so that you feel you've got the canter sitting a bit more, let the transitions do the work. Yeah, little trot canters, canter trot, trot canters, canter trot. Good, keep the contact. Lovely, trotting, sit tall, keep the contact. Good. Trotting, keep the contact, stay tall, and canter. Better. That might be sent to do around the edge if he wasn't spooking. It just yeah. gets him listening to you and gets him sitting a little bit. Good go. Play with your fingers a little bit when you get the trot to keep the jaw soft. Yep. Just sponge him. Good girl, well done. <laughs> so here we go. Enter at a and proceed down the centre line without hulking, halting, hulking, halting, <laughs> and track left. Six and a half from both judges could soften more over the top line, which is fair. We were both a little bit tense. And my aim after a stressful morning was purely just to try and keep us both as relaxed as possible and breathe and be accurate. So we go on to a 15 metre circle here. And again, consistent, seven from both judges. One said could be more supple, and the other says active steps and throughness. Change the rein with a transition to walk, four to five steps, six and a half and seven. One said fluent, but the other said needs a more crisp down transition and too many walk steps. Circle right 15 metres and six and a half from one could be more supple and six from the other unsteady on the contact. Which you can just see a bit there. And then we do the same again, change the rein with the transition to walk across the diagonal. Which we had six from one, again saying too many walk steps and six and a half from the other could soften more through the neck. Then we come round and we do our transition down into medium walk at M and both gave us a seven. And then both also gave us a seven for the medium walk around past the judge. And then we go on to a half 20 meter circle free walk on a long rein, which the judge at B gave us a seven and a half for. And to me, it felt lovely. He stretched and he marched on. Seven and a half from the judge at B and seven from the judge at C. Just said tempo quickened a little. Then we go up into working trot and into canter. Six and a half from one, seven and obedient from the other. On to the circle. We get two sixes, which is disappointing for our counter work, but I do know that our give and retakes never are the best, especially when on grass. So flattened in give and retake and pointy nose in give and retake. And then our half or half loop, 15 meter loop back to the track. Seven from both judges with no comments. And then a transition, which I was pleased with. Down into trot again, seven from both judges. And then back up into the canter, seven again from both judges. Onto the circle, and six from the judge at C, and six and a half from the judge at B. Saying again that the give and retake was a little brief. We then do our 15 meter loop back to the track. Which we had seven from the judge at C and seven and a half and better balance from the judge at B. And then we trot all the way back round past the judge and do our 10 meter loop back to the center line, 
which is where he slipped last year so I was cautious of making sure we both remained in balance and I felt it went nicely we got a seven and a half from the judge at B he also did a very nice halt and a seven from the judge at C saying a little tight in the neck but nice halt and then we had the most lovely comments from the judge at B saying lots to like sparkle without silliness tries very hard for you which when I read that made me blub I will admit um, but that was cross country morning so I was feeling a bit blubby anyway <laughs> And the judge at sea said Super Horse needs to develop more relaxedness and balance in his work so he can develop overall suppleness. I'm pleased with that. Yeah. Yeah. Felt so sweltier, I can't believe how, like doing the camp. You'll be camp. pleased you're early. Yeah, Thanks. definitely. Yeah, true. Yeah. Doing the camp on the 15th, I thought, oh, yeah. really well done. It was very good for Really good. Just give really, really and all that, but... Tina, you, when was the last time you did dress horse test? All right. Yeah, no, but as in, <laughs> you should be pleased. Right. Actually, you, yeah, exactly. Least, yeah, yeah, you should be really proud of yourself. He only started a nice free walk at the end, though. At the beginning, he was a bit reluctant to move forward. Yeah, but Tina, it was a polite test. There were no dramas in it. Yes. Do I need to focus no on walk? Uh, am spooks. I being a Meg? <laughs> you may. Be... Yeah, no spooks. Mm. Yeah, it totally. was a polite test. Yeah, a yeah. Boy. yeah. And he cantered around nicely at the beginning as well. Which yeah, was totally. Nice. That totally, was a name. Totally. And actually, I think the main thing, Tina, is you both like you actually enjoyed it. Yeah, I did. I yeah? was smiling. You weren't in there all tense and nerves no. and trying to be too particularly. Look like you actually enjoyed each other in there. Yeah. And that's what this end of year is all about. Yeah, it's about enjoying your lovely horse. Yeah, remembering why you love eventing. Oh, don't in, start me crying. Yeah. <laughs> remembering why you love eventing in the mud, the wind, the rain, all of that. For the Saturday night party camp. For the Saturday night party <laughs> Oh, really good. I've got to go and help Tracy Thank you. now. Thank you yeah. very much. Hey! Oh, I don't record what you were just yeah. saying. <laughs> okay, it's a couple of hours later. We've managed to have a little relaxating. Relaxating? Relax relaxing. 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 We had a cup of tea, basically. <laughs> yeah, we had a cup of tea. And just relaxed after what was a very stressful morning. But I'm pleased to say that watching my test back, I don't feel the stress and the chaoticness reflected on the test. I'm pleased with how it went. You seemed quite considering. relaxed in the warm up as well though. So I kind of went in with, it's been a chaotic morning. I just need to not, I need to play it safe a bit. I need to not ask too much. I need to not let him or me be tense. I just need to try and stay as relaxed as possible. So there are moments of when watching the test that I think always oh, come a bit above the bit or I'm not really asking enough from him. But again, it was quite squelchy in there and I just didn't want him to slip at all either. So I'm quite pleased I played it safe and very pleased that the score reflects how it felt. We have now very kindly been graced with the presence of the yes. sun <laughs> after putting on all our wet weather gear yeah. because we're heading out to walk the course. As I said, the Cross Country app are the very kind sponsors of this vlog and that is an app that I have used throughout my eventing career. Would you call it a career? I think so. <laughs> my eventing journey. So. That'll be the one. But before we head out there, a cup of tea isn't just going to suffice, is it, Holly? It is lunch. It has home. been a busy old morning. Yes. We're heading over to the trade stand area to get something to eat, and then we might watch a little spot of, I believe, the two star long dressage. Because this is an international event this weekend, it's not only the 90 and 100 three day event taking place, it's also two star long two star short and I believe three star short too. Go on, give it the seal of approval, Paul. Oh, I can't wait. Ooh. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> happy girl, happy girl. I was spinach or bacon, but... Mm -hmm. She went green. Yeah. Well done. Mm. Proud of you. Delicious. Look who I found. I like your new camera, Tina. Oh, Isn't well, it gorgeous? Well spotted. Oh, I've done enough of these with you to know you've got a new camera. <laughs> bigger, better and heavier. Yeah. <laughs> oh. yeah, we're ringside. This is the two-star long. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, two-star long this in side, two-star short the other side. Ooh. 
Some nice. lovely horses. Yeah, some so lovely cool. horses. Yeah. I'm a bit confused. I know that the long runs in a similar format to what we're doing. Yeah. So they will do their dressage, then their cross country, but they yeah. don't do road track steeplechase. Yeah. Um, and then they do their show jumping on the final day. Yeah. What, does the, what does a short version do? How is it so different to a two star short is still run like a one day event. So you do your dressage, then your show jumping, then your cross country. All on the same day? It could be, but everywhere really runs over a couple of days. So the two because star... of the dressage, really. Yes, yeah, and it's just nice for them to do a stayover event. Oh, okay. Yeah, in, in theory, because it normally long, runs alongside a two star long or something like that. Not okay. every time, but normally. So the two star short have done their dressage um, today, mm -hmm. and then they'll do their show jumping and cross country tomorrow. So they're going to so jump that runs both a normal places. event. Normal show event. Show jumping order. first, then cross country. Yes. And yeah. then that's the same with the three star. Same with the three star short. Yes, yeah. they haven't got a three long here. So you've got the three star short starting tomorrow on Friday. Uh huh. Um, and then the two star long normally would run dressage Thursday, Friday, cross country Saturday, show jump Sunday. But in order to fit in with the 1900 three day, they're doing that, but all a day early. Oh, uh, they're a day. So, so they're they cross country tomorrow. Cross country tomorrow uh, on the Friday. Do do on exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I remember that now. Oh, um, thank so you for yeah. Explaining so that. no, but. But the two star short, the point of it really is because A, it gives you a qualification for a two star long. Oh, okay. So you get to skip out two novices if you do one two star short oh, in terms okay. of MERs. Um, also, it gives horses a bit of a chance to get some experience at an international. Yeah. Um, because obviously. Bigger atmosphere, isn't Exactly, it? but without having to show jump on the last day. And the cross country is a little bit shorter still because okay. it's more of a, a one day, but will be definitely be more technical than a. Um, normal novice and have you seen the tracks out there yet haven't yet we're doing our first two star long and two star short course walks um in about two hours and you're hosting them for be for, for be for the howden way and also a couple of just lovely clients who i see oh, normally. you're so kind um, well no i love it you know you i love are, it you so. are eventing guru well i know you've met lovely charlie piper yeah yeah on that got gorgeous horses. she got both what here tiny, isn't it? yes so that tiny little one um, she won the Pony Club Open Championships at two star level at Wellington this year on it. And it went to Hartbury two star long and did amazing. Wow. That I know. And she's done an intermediate on it now. Wow. I know. That's incredible. That How cool? big is he? He's 14 3 and a push, I think. Oh my goodness, um, that is incredible. And then her other one is 17 1, who she's doing the two star long with here. Yeah, so she's so a very good her later. Her later and oh, a couple I might of others. Sneak along in yeah. the background. Just yeah, to get my could. steps in purely, yeah. obviously. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then it'll make your course look very, very jumpable. Tiny. So that's the best way to do it, I always think. Very Walk true, a course actually. that's bigger than yours, then you go back to yours and go, God, that's oh, easy now. Piece of cake. So, yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, oh very true. Good. Now, well done in your dressage, Tina. Thank it looked you. like you both just had a really good time. Yeah. And it's going to keep getting wetter and wetter. So I think you had the best of the ground in that we dressage arena. We definitely did, yeah. We were yeah. glad to be in there nice and early. We were like eighth in, weren't we? Yeah. So, no, I'm pleased. I'm pleased with the score, considering what a yeah. chaotic morning I had prior to that. So yeah. I'll stop talking about dressage now and move on to, we're heading out onto the cross-country course, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go and check out mine and yeah we will have a nose at the two stars well i saw on your view. thing as well the pumpkins i didn't know they were it's doing really that that looks really cool dressed. Yeah. yeah it's dressed really nicely so yeah mm -hmm. excited Good. to ride it i am positive vibes yeah so as soon as i arrive in the start box i open up the app select new course with the plus button Enter the name of the event, the level of the event, and the speed at which we will be running at BE90, that is 450 metres a minute. And then you simply start to walk away towards fence number one. So when you get to the jump, you click add, or the plus symbol, jump one, photo, twist your phone, zoom in should you wish, snap, love it, use photo. Walk to the jump, scoot around the other side before tapping resume and then it will keep you in a straight line so that the distance you walk is measured accurately. And then you just continue to do that at each fence. So here I am at fence two, simply pressing, taking the snap, walking around the other side and resuming. The only time it changes is if you have an A, B, C, D type element jump or fence combination, which actually we did have a few of on this course. Now, to head to fence three, I know it is in that direction. However, sometimes you can be walking the course whilst the course is being ridden. So should you need to get out of the way and you have forgotten to press the pause button, say I scooted over here, got out of the way, maybe stood back enough to get a picture of whoever's jumping it, came back on 
realise there's a bit of a wiggle in my track, although I didn't run that far so it's not a big wiggle, you simply press the eraser button, wriggle back to there, or further should you wish, maybe closer to the jump, tick, erase, and then play to resume in a straight line. So for the benefit of you guys watching at home, as you well know, I did actually track the whole course on my app yesterday evening. Um, and somebody has asked a question on Instagram with regards to using the cross country app, whether I count up or down when I leave the start box on my watch. Now I count up. So I always ask the starter for 15 seconds. So on my watch, I've pre-programmed in 15 seconds. When he says 15, I press it. It goes 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Yes, I can count backwards. And then when it hits zero, you leave the start box, off you go. And I know here from the app, so as to get into a good rhythm and to gauge my speed and to get within the optimum time, that between fence four and fence five A to five B, halfway between is minute marker one. So because I count up on my watch, I've gone from zero seconds up to one minute. So I'll have landed after fence four and then traveling towards fence five, my watch will go beep, 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 beep to tell me that I'm at one minute. And then it does that all the way around the course. As you can see, minute marker two is up through the woods just after fence seven. And then three is where we're heading now, actually. I was going to show you how to record a combination within the cross country app because minute marker three is just before fence 10A. So to record a combination within the app, you simply press add, let's find number 10 and then press A, done photo, voila, 10A captured, save, jump off, 10A, obviously you can stride it should you wish, but because I've already seen where fence C is, I'm actually going to be thinking I'm going to be doing a nice steady trot off this, as opposed to cantering flat out downhill and having to do a handbrake turn, so I'm not striding it, I'm just heading nicely in control down to 10 B. Automatically knows, because I've put an A, it knows that a B element is coming. So 10 B, photo, snap, use, resume. It doesn't, however, automatically know that there's a C because how is it gonna know that there's a C element? Obviously always following an A, there's a B, but there's not always a C. So we go back into number 11, tab back to 10 again, put C. It will have tracked where I've gone prior to taking a picture of the C element. Ta-da! Use photo. So I know if I do a nice curving line, I've got a good three strides before that off the corner. So I've got to hug the rope there. So on the course here at Bicton, number 18, this beautifully dressed roll top with a brush is the final fence. And that is where hopefully we will have the elation of landing patting and going over that finish line chuffed with going clear, I would hope. One of the things that the app helps me most with though, before getting out on the course and tackling these jumps is visualizing the course on the lorry ramp prior to getting on board to ensure that I don't miss out any fences when I'm going round. You can literally go back in, scroll through, one, two, three, four A and B, five, six, and to make sure that you visualize and get the elation of jumping it, landing, patting, actually put it into your brain, get that muscle memory there. And the app really does help with that so that you do not miss out any fences. You can check what the striding is between combinations. And again, you can, and I always do it, pop on your arm. If you haven't got a very good memory, I always pop on my arm, the minute marker, so that you can make sure when you do cross that finish line, you are within the 15 second window that is allowed. Happy smiley faces as we cross the finish, fingers crossed for Saturday and our round. Thank you again, Cross Country App, for collaborating with me on this video and for enabling me to have so many fabulous touchwood clears over the years. My little helper's leaving me now. Aww. Thanks for coming though, you've been fabulous. Thank you for having me. <laughs> I really enjoyed the tonic incident. <laughs> I wish that was caught on camera, don't you? <laughs> that and Banksy escaping would have been a very yeah. entertaining vlog. Why is it the entertaining parts never caught on camera, hey? But I'm glad that you've done a wonderful dressage test and I have yeah. every faith that you're gonna smash the cross country and show jumping. Hey, I hope I smash the cross country. I don't wanna smash the show jumps. That's true. <laughs> <laughs>
but yeah no I'm excited for it I think the course looks lovely and I'm excited to take my precious boy out there and enjoy it with him as Cam keeps telling me he says you're here to enjoy it exactly which I am and I've enjoyed it all a lot more because you've been here with me I was feeling very daunted about coming solo and being here for like pr prospectively prospective yeah but you've got oh, a night to yourself 48 hours on my own what yeah do? probably edit yeah. <laughs> um yeah oh Lizzie's here now so I'll go and visit yeah. her for a little gin later I won't take the tonic <laughs> <laughs> running low now it's yeah. all over the ceiling yeah but yeah, thank you, Hull, and thank you guys for watching. If you're enjoying this video, and I don't say it often enough, but it really does help me out, if you could please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and a subscribe if you don't already. I always say at the end, and I think people probably don't even get to that point. So it's a few hours later, and I brought the boy back to the motorhome with me for a GT, no, for a hand graze, and just a bit of time out of his stable, in the hope that that means he will stay in it all night tonight. But yeah, just half an hour or so, chilling with him, and then I'm going to meet Cam at the start box and join in on his two star long course walk and have a nosy at that, because like he said, if I do that with him, then it will make mine look even easier. Look who's here. Ta-da! I've got some friends. <laughs> yeah, thanks for agreeing, Addy. Hi. I recognize that lorry, it's Banksy there. She's gone. <laughs> Nice to see you. Good girl. She's having a good look round. Bless her. So yeah, I've moved locations. I've come from far over that side of the field. Down to join Em and Addy and Kerry Ann and Connor. Oh my goodness, Addy is keen to be Addy here. Addy is keen to be here and Addy is very, very strong. So glad <laughs> I've put up in the bridle. <laughs> Oh, she's looking lovely colour. She looks all custardy. Custard cream again. Yeah. Look at her dapples. They're gorgeous. Look at you. Good girl. So yeah, all systems go to get everything ready for Em and Addy. I know. Do you think it's going to rain? Now? I know. As you literally left to go and get her, you said it looks like it's, it feels like it's going to rain. Yeah, it's threatening. And it did. We've had actually really good weather this morning. I went and rode phase C of the roads and tracks with Tor, who is actually... What's the connection? She's your new. She works for your. Yeah, she is your new. She's a family sister. member of Horse Hayden Hay Yeah. So it's nice. She asked me last oh, night if I'd like to ride the roads and tracks with her. So we did that this morning. Banksy was extremely excited to do that because the two star cross country had started. Ah! Very smart. I best take some photos of you in that. <laughs> yeah, she said you're extremely professional on your shoot the other day. <laughs> we had a nice little chimwag and yeah got to know each other a little bit so we didn't actually film much yet so far today because it is a bit of a chill day for me um but i'm gonna grab my big cab do you want me to do anything i know you like doing most things yourself i don't think she can hear me um yeah grab my big camera and get some nice pictures and slow-mo really type stuff of em and addy for their dressage also unfortunately might not be having a meggy moo and hannah coming down because there's been some horrendous flash flooding you managed to load meg's stories didn't you and it looked <laughs> hi again addy yeah you're here you're at the party um oh i need to go and buy a tap for tomorrow i mean i guess i could just use yours but i don't want to break yours <laughs> um yeah you saw it's like a river coming across meg's field didn't you yeah and she said the roads are horrendous so i said please don't put yourself in any danger we will manage i think like you say between because we're at different times it's all right for me and you but just sorting out you and carrie ann because you're like two apart aren't you yeah. <sighs> anyways i'm gonna put a coat on because it has started to rain again yeah these are the thundery showers though. thundery showers the lightning's said, coming just for your test i mean mine are in wind and rain but i haven't done lightning yet <laughs> Today could be a first. The forecast all week has had us all very scared about having to do our tests in thunder and lightning. Thankfully, mine was fine. And it was forecast again for one o'clock today, but 10 past one, no thunder and lightning yet. So fingers crossed, it stays away. Let's grab the camera. And then after Emma's test, I'm doing course walk of our 90 with Cam. So obviously I will take you guys along to see a bit of his perspective of the 90 course. In the strong show jumping gear, jump number one and then go on again. But actually you've got a really long run up, okay? So for me, you've got to come out in a cross country gear. Otherwise, if you come out show jumping gear, you're wasting loads of time, <laughs> okay? So come out in a strong cross country gear. 
and then probably about here I just want to have a little rebalance so for me that's put the hind leg underneath sit them on their hops and then keep coming again the main thing you know if the ground's going to be a little bit holding you're the second half of the day to go these first few fences about having confident jumps okay <coughs> what you don't want to be doing is staying in that flat cross country gear not putting in a rebalance and just having a bit of a hairy jump over number one i've got to give sort of generic bits to all of you if you have a question specifically about your horse then point it out but in general if i have a sticky jump over number one two three or four on landing i need to do something about it okay what you don't want to have is a sticky jump over number one even stickier over number two and then you stop at number three okay mm -hmm. yeah and everyone goes god number three is hard no it was number one and two that caused the problem at number three <laughs> okay and you didn't do anything about it you've got the kind of line here because really you could just stay on this fence line yeah if you turn too early they're going to be dripping through the left shoulder anyway this is a type of fence but whilst it's small for all of you if it was on the flat if you think they measure it from takeoff, it's actually a little bit bigger here than it is there. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So you're not going to look for a stride. Putting it bluntly, you're just going to keep kicking. Okay. Hind leg, gotta keep coming. Don't stop kicking for this, regardless of whether you're deep or long. Keep kicking. Not because you're going to stop at it, but because if you don't, your horse will get there and come up here and go, bloody hell, and just chip in and jump. Okay. And that's your confidence again. Okay. Gotta keep working. Keep working. Keep working. Keep working until you've landed. Okay. And then we're going to keep kicking all the way up to here. And then we'll discuss how we're just going to give them a little breather at the top of the hill, because really we've been galloping all the way up the hill for quite a while now. Take your legs totally off of your horse's rib cages. Okay, I know that sounds weird, but what you'll feel them do is they'll go. And then you can go on again and keep pressing. If you don't have these little moments after, you know, you've had a long drag up here where you're pressing, you've got to keep pressing to that fence back there. If you don't stop here, slow down, take your legs off their side, let them refill the lungs, you won't be able to then keep pressing to the next fence, okay? They'll be mentally and physically tired very quickly, okay? The important thing for every single level is knowing when to give your horse that moment. Like we all, if we just kept walking, we'd be knackered in three fences time. If we just have these little moments where we stop, Refill. We can then walk on again. Ever so slightly on the angle. If anything, almost this flower. Okay, to me that looks like a good line. The more left you jump it, the easier for me. Okay, so I'd perhaps be dropping down to come up over this flower here. Yeah, towards that banner. It's thinking stay out, stay out, stay straight, stay on the line. And then left leg, left rein to get back into the middle, okay? I think you don't waste any time by doing two proper lines to this, yeah? Get into the habit early on, because you'll need this later on, of riding a proper turn off the outside rein, outside leg, rather than just, exactly, rather than just floating around, so just turning with the right rein. Yes, this will be easy, but you need to check in if you can turn off the outside legs. A, I'm turning right afterwards, whereas the other way... Makes you drift left, yeah. Away. Yeah. <laughs> and I just think it's clearer for the horse. I have to do left turns to get there. <coughs> as close to this as you can get. Yeah, it says they're moving. So it will look a bit more inviting when the flags are correct. If you get here and you go, there it is, and you go forward, they're guaranteed to chip it. Okay? Or if you get here and go, I want one more, you're going to lift the head up and they can't see it. Okay? <coughs> it's the most important thing, once you've got on the line, is to keep the contact, plug your bottom in the socket, and just keep squeezing from the leg to the hand, the leg to the hand, the leg to the hand, the leg to the hand. Oh, we've jumped it. Okay? Rather than thinking, where's my stride? There's my stride. Yeah, okay. There's no width to it, so you could be under it, off it, who cares? Yes? The most important thing is that you keep the bounce in, the canter, you keep the contact, keep the body to it. That makes sense. Yeah. First of all, good question. If you have a run out, this is obviously A. That's B. Do you have to redo A again? No. 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 Could you redo A again? Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah, so you have the option. So for me, you have to have a more likely to have a stop than a run out. Okay, at this. And the reason why you'll have to stop is because the body went too far forward, coming down that little lip to it, and you're on top of the horse and the horse can't jump it. 
Yeah. Yeah. So Stop making us feel like wimps. <laughs> He's going to say, I mean, you could drop jump that. Obviously, you want to try and keep them straight, but I imagine then you get off balance and you just do what you said. Keep, keep the contact, keep kicking. Don't ever think it's off. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a nice tree to aim for, to be fair, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Yeah. yeah. Do we break before, during, or after our corners? Before. Before. So you have to waste time here and really put them down in advance of beer. Okay. Perfect. So I reckon two minutes after you want this, to have landed yeah, it. Yeah, for those being competitive. Small and bouncy. Now for me, I'm looking for that tree. So you're going to stay out until you line up that tree. Okay. That's if I want to be really safe. Yeah. Get behind me and walk the line to that tree. And if you don't want to do that line, I'm so okay with it, but explain to me why. <laughs> no, I'm in a fair. In other words, I'm not. <laughs> yeah. <That's your> <laughs> um, as I want you all to, is what I mean. So, if I was watching someone come through here looking really beautiful, what they would do is, first of all, would the horse typically here go a little bit shorter or longer after the hill we've just had? Shorter. Shorter, and that's okay because actually it helps the landing. Yeah. yeah. So here, I would love to see you slipping the reins by four or five inches in preparation, not reaction. Sitting a little bit back on the saddle and staying there with the legs still pressing and allowing the horse to pop in and jump underneath you. Okay. If you come up and you're a bit like, God, that was hard work. <laughs> and you're on their neck and your reins are a bit short and then they chip in, you're gonna land on their neck and they could peck. Yeah, you're not gonna fall off, but again, just not helping them for their energy levels later on in the course, okay? okay. So you give them their breather just there. You then press on again once you've given them their breather here. Slip the reins, come tall, keep pressing with the legs, jump and carry on, okay? Okay, so what I'm walking here <coughs> is that I want to do at least about three straight strides. So that's what I have counted. I don't care how many strides I do from here onwards but I want to do at least three straight strides out to the string, okay? Mm -hmm. The reason why people have problems at sea is because people will be nervous about the fence, they'll land and turn way too early, and that will be the problem, okay? Sea is absolutely fine, yeah? Everyone's jumped that fence every time when they come every single year. It's just normally on a straight line. You see, that's how I walked the first time, but yeah. the way they put the ground bed is almost like that ground rails is going to go on an angle, I, but would you still get I would straight? do that line. That's what I was saying. I would do that line. Balance. A strong rebalance, not a little one, a strong one, where you basically say, sit on your bottom, put your hind leg underneath you, and then let go for a stride. Okay, yeah. You, know, you give it a bit of a pull, bit of a kick, and then drop it again. And then you can keep <laughs> being positive again, okay? Putting it bluntly, you've got to put the horse together. So you're not just getting longer and flatter, longer and flatter, longer and flatter. Yeah. So I'm staying out. And then again, I'm putting in a real turn, okay? Then just keep coming, keep coming. If you think your horse is a bit ditchy, back there you give it two electric shocks with the leg. So go in front of me, give me a nice reaction, okay? And then from here you're going to keep riding. Personally, if you haven't done this before, don't do it, but I would. Here, I'd slip my reins again and come taller. Does a horse typically to a ditch palisade or trochaena go short or long? Short. Everyone else? Happy Close, with that? yeah. Short. Yeah. The horse, even the five star horse will go, oh look, ditch jump. It's not them stopping, it's just them looking. Okay, and that's what a brilliant horse does. The bad rider sees a long stride, goes, there it is! Go, 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 go! And the horse goes, I just want to look before I jump it. And now you're on top of them and they can't. Okay. So you keep riding, keep riding, keep riding, but the body and the hands go, there's probably one more stride. And if they take off long, we're he, enjoy the feeling. But you're ready for them to just look at the ditch and then jump it. When I get a bit, when I've come to these last year, let's say, mm -hmm. a, a table like this, I would hope for the best and get him yeah. a short canter mm -hmm. and hold him and guide him. Mm -hmm. So if I Well, you've done the rebalance there. Yeah. So that's put him in the right canter, in okay. the right balance. Yeah. That's because you wouldn't do the rebalance there. No. So you'd be galloping and then you'd hold. Yeah, yeah. So you do the rebalance yeah. there to then be able to come again. Okay. Yeah. And then I just literally have the contact. And you just do this. You don't draw, to... you just lengthen. And if he wants to take that rein, exactly. I let him. 
Exactly. Yeah. It's what I would call, <laughs> for those who have lessons, my piggy French grip. Yeah, she so watched Piggy or Piggy March jump. She has such a soft grip that she just lets the horse take the rein from her and just really think leg to hand. So I found my line and I'm micromanaging that connection. So I'm now coming in. Oh God, they've gone a bit strong in my right hand, light in my left hand. What leg am I going to use? Right. Right leg, put them back into the left, okay? So I'm just coming in going, how does the feel feel? How does the feel feel? Yeah, feel feel. <laughs> How does my contact feel? How does my contact feel? Keep micromanaging to be 50% in each hand all the way through until I've jumped feet. Okay? They should feel like they're on train tracks the whole way through. Yeah. Pardon? It is pretty, but we we don't need that jumping effort right now. They always replicate them with these houses up here, don't they? Yeah. And it's a nice one. It's not a long one. Yay. Actually, please confirm that, Cam. So, short, obviously yeah. walk short. Well, no, it's a perfect bouncy stride. <laughs> it will ride long, weirdly <laughs> enough. Okay, it will ride long. Yeah, I'll be surprised nice if anyone finds that short because you need to sit down and think about the line. So you're not going to be jumping in with loads of pace. So actually you'll jump in, you'll go, whoop, one. You'll have to get out still. Okay, don't think, oh, it's a short one. I can land in oh, sympathetic because you'll get two. It actually will ride longer than it walks. Right hand side and coming straight. Oh, okay. I will like him oh. this way more then. Right, so over here then. Or you can jump that straight and do a little turn to be there. Mm. That's my point. Oh, mm, it's confusing it now. I was yeah. just jumping it. <laughs> so you want to jump that straight rather than straight an angle? Through. Yes. Right. Okay, I'm just because I want to put a little turn jump. to my there. corner to make the angle of the corner a little bit softer. Cameron's just said this is his favourite jump on the course for us guys. Yeah, it's all Halloween as well. How could you not love it? <laughs> So for me, I am jumping the flower. Yes. Dead central. Very much jumping the flower because by jumping the flower, I'm putting my horse's hind legs in line with their front legs. Yeah. Okay. So now I can almost, you see where Abby is? Yeah. Go in line with Abby here. Yeah. You've got to stay there tomorrow. Abby's got to be there tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Use that stick over there. Yeah. So just have a little visualisation. Mm -hmm. If you feel you want to drop down, you can, but to me, I would call that dead space, okay? If you're being competitive. Slow before the turn. Nice square turn. Great line, Abby. Really good. Square turn. You're going to say, you know, you're say it's all funny. No, again. you're a really good line. <laughs> and then when you make your turn, then put the power back in again. What if okay. they trot? If they trot, then you kick and hold until they canter again. I'd rather they didn't trot, personally. It's quite a yeah. steep hill to come up out of and then get and over a fence, isn't it? The challenge here, for the first time in this whole course, is actually you want to turn as early as you can. Oh. From what I'm seeing. Okay. The later you turn... Uh, you drop you off. See. Yeah. That's why, yeah, that line might be kinder. The one you were saying, Georgie. Mm. Yes. But making you come out here, you've got to turn on this boat. Okay. I feel because then you're on a nicer line. There'll be some lovely tracks over there where horses brought water out with them and mm. they will run past it. Rather than going, right, they can spot them because there's no way to it. So don't fire them at don't. the second to last fence. <laughs> you just think the leg to the hand, the leg to the hand, the leg to the hand. I mean, I rarely and fire. If they take off from here because they're feeling brave, get left behind, we're he. If they take off from here, great, you're ready for it. Okay, this is not a fence where you try and look for a strike. The moment you look for a stride, you either pull them off it or you chase them past it. And the last fence is still a fence to respect. I'm saying this as someone who in their first advance found it very easy and then came to the last and fell. Yes, Ooh. okay, we've all done it at some time in our lives. Yep, don't make it tomorrow. Respect the last. And then you've got quite a long gallop until the flags. So then land and kick away. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to come into this all tiny and pathetic, but respect it. And you're respected enough just by thinking, am I straight to it? Yeah. <laughs> Is she drinking alone? No. No, she's not! Yay! 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 You got your arm caught then. We made it. We like made it. the bit that you just filmed. You can't, mate. It's deleted. Ah! <laughs> she gone. She gone. No, I got the besties here. We got your little groomings. Ching. The best groom and the best camera lady. Whoop, whoop. Have you got your other camera? And I'm the best, yeah. Because I wasn't yeah. allowed to bring my camera. Mm. 
Thanks to Granite Lens Media. I've got three cameras granite, here, granite, I'll have I mean, you know. Granite. So yeah, all good in the hood. Amazing. Excited. I'm very grateful these girlies have come along. Yes. Hence I'm attempting to cook you dinner. I did have to swim to get here, but you're so welcome. Swim. <laughs> A bit of drama in Worcestershire we today. Swim through storm. The pie, it's we? got a weird name. It has got a weird name because of them, maybe. No, because of the bee, because it's the second storm of the year, but <laughs> close. It was like a weird. Close. I was like, hmm, what are you? Never heard that before. What was it actually called then, Meg? She doesn't know. I can't remember, but I was like, yeah. what? That's not a name. Oh. But yeah, we made it. T, have you done all your debriefs that you need to do? How are you feeling ahead I've not done of. Not apart from course walk. Oh, right, well, there you go. Oh, yeah. There you go, guys. Good job. I'm the camera good. ladies turned up. This is lovely. Tina's forgot her hairbrush, so. Beneath needs must. <laughs> <laughs> Improvising. Thanks, Banks. <laughs> Banks has stayed on his stable today, so all is good. That's good. That's good. And we're just going over plans for tomorrow. Plans for the morning. Pam's actually quite bossy, isn't she? Yeah. yeah but in a good yeah, yeah. way. I'm not bossy. Like I an just... organised bossy. The I thing is, like... is you've got to give her jobs yeah, and then she keeps quiet. Like... Oh, so she keeps quiet. The best thing, you just hand her boots and she'll that's clean them. That's why I'd like to go and feed him at 7am. Like she to gets get, a bit get twitchy. Yeah, if... I get a bit well, that's twitchy. that's fine. Then you can have the heart attack when he's not in a stable. Perfect. <laughs> I told you I won't get a heart attack. I'll just think, oh dear, he's gone. He'll come back. <laughs> Like you think about Clem. He'll come back eventually. She always comes back though, mate. <laughs> oh, Don't they think her eagle is incredible. <laughs> and she's three miles down Perrinport Beach. That's really good. How long was that beach, Meg? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> They've given me a bit of ASMR eating. nacho eating. She was eating her crisps and filming like that. Yeah. <laughs> so we need to take the reins. Let me be, be the creative director. Down, go down. No. <laughs> Well, I got some mm. new reins actually delivered. Oh, they're in the lorry. Better sit in a more ladylike fashion now. Nice bag. Um, Not an ad. <laughs> Where's that from? That's your bag. I it's yours. It's Tesco. <laughs> That's not mine. No, <laughs> you said an ad. I was like, was it Jules or something? <laughs> Tesco guys. Who's sponsoring this video, T? Do we do a little something, something for you? Uh, cross country app. Do you oh, use it? Did you I not do see that? It. I do use it. I did see it. Sorry. Well done, girl. No, cross country app. <laughs> Cross country app. They make nice caps. <laughs> Very good. I started That using was a really it. good input, Meg. No, well I started using it after Han. Do you remember I kept messing up her time? You I messed up your time. Yeah, and I missed out on that win at Morton Moral. Yeah. And I Jeanette remember that. said, I'm not driving you across the country again <laughs> if you keep making these mistakes. Is she Jeanette when I she's remember naughty? That. She's Jeanette when she's very angry. Yeah. <laughs> but do you remember that 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 was a little bit of my fault as well, wasn't it, at mm -hmm. the time? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll let you have that one. Sorry yeah. about that. Yeah, that one. Anyway, yeah, we were just. I, I don't really like this. We were <laughs> planning what we're doing tomorrow. You don't really like so what, what's the camera. Your, yeah, what's your like... job, Meg? It's just I'm clear, like, hello. She's very like. <laughs> uh, no, my job just... tomorrow is filming. Oui. I'm creative director. Yep, yeah, I'm happy to do studying. Oh. If you want to, do, if you want studs done. Thank you. Horrible job. I mean, I don't have a tap at present, but um, we'll find you one. I'm, you know. I'm I'm there in the ten minute. You're box. gonna yeah. You're like gonna little, stand at the ten like, minute box. Yeah, and if she wants a pet, I feel like I'm quite a good hype man. So, you are. I might yeah. have already inserted a bit of your hype into this vlog. Ooh. Yeah, well Ooh. we've had discussion. I'm edit out bits. Oh, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> it's from Rhodes. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> anyway, yeah. We've, we've had discussions about your uh, hype, haven't we, on the way here? In on the on the oh. questions. About your uh, being a bit too sarcastic, oh. a bit too hype. No, no, yeah. I. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, yeah, we're gonna have a jolly good time. I'm very excited to be back here. I would also like to get a picture with my dump fence because you know. Oh, it's fence three. Your this girls time. history, is it? Well, I'm not fence two. I don't know. Still hurts. Still hurts. Um, yeah, Anyway, let's get back to the kitchen. Um, let's see what Ramsey's hang on, up. let's not go back to the kitchen right now. So, are you going to tell us? Oh wow, look at that veggie though. Colourful delight. Um, <laughs> veggie though. He's trying to hide it. Are you going to? <laughs> Sorry, mum. Are you going to be a Pete and tell us where you want us all tomorrow? Well, I'm hoping we'll do an early morning course walk. So let me yeah. see where Spence is. I'm yeah. prepared to do some running. Wow! Sneakers. Are you going to turn into Hannah? I'm going to turn into Hannah. Mate, Hannah does a lot of running. Like, you've got okay, to be prepared. Okay, I'm going to be like a little bit less. You have to take your jumper off and stuff, otherwise you're going to get too hot running. <laughs> um, but, how many cameras have you got with you, T? Three. Three, three, three cameras. Under okay, trois. Cool. And there's only under? So you've got the snowman <laughs> one, you've got your original vlogging one, and you've got that one. Okay. We need to find another person then. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> is M gonna be free? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She won't be stressing because she's got quite a lot of time. She's got quite a lot of stressing. Difference. She'll be available. Okay, cool. Yep, she'll be available. I might okay. have to slam it camera. And then sure. you're gonna have to spend um I want the rubbish camera. I don't really like vlogging, I'm more that, room. But you can have that one, you can have No, M can have this one and I'll okay, have Tina's. Um so you then Peter usually spends an hour looking at the Super Cross Country app, what's it called? Cross app. <laughs> the Cross Country app. Yeah, because it is super. Because it is super. He does. He genuinely does. He's downloaded it. I just <laughs> He's downloaded <laughs> so then, it, so he yeah. knows. So he knows where we can all go. Oh. And then he says, I want you at this fence and you at this fence, so that's your job tomorrow, Megan. Ooh. Okay. Okay, right. Well, okay, cool. She and back, back to, to the kitchen. kitchen. Back to the kitchen. We're ready for, and you're going to be elated by this, girls, the corn. Blech. Welcome to the kitchen. Got any salsa? Oh yeah. Talk yeah, us, yeah, we've got talk salsa us through. Guac. Oh my god, we've got three lots of guac. Guac, a good job. Yeah, we've got all sorts. Okay, so we've got our nachos, we've got, nice. We've got nachos, little bit, nice. Little bit done that one. We've got some. <laughs> we've got. Oh, little bit we've done again. <laughs> the corn's a little bit. Right. <laughs> Stop, we'll cut straight to cross country, alright? <laughs> cut, cut, cut. We've got some <laughs> wow, <not> seasoning. <laughs> said. Other salsas are available. I did do HelloFresh on the first night. Careful, that's oh. sliding down. Sorry, Hello yeah, because I haven't put the chocolate HelloFresh. I've got some lettuce for you on your head. Hey! <laughs> your chicken's cooked, darling. Well, we're ready. Oh, now. right, okay. let's move campers. Oh, ready to do the taste test. What's she made? No, I think they're too hot. I mean nachos. Nachos. On your head? Wow, look at you, have got so much food. Right, let's go. Ooh, Just ooh. see the pan right, You guys all ready? <laughs> this is where Hannah's sleeping. No, I don't want to sleep here as top group. She didn't want Bernard. 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 <laughs> do you need a cuddle? <laughs> Where's Maggie? <laughs> Maggie hates me. <laughs> There's no context here. <laughs> and you're never going to get any context here. <laughs> <laughs> just both, just both step like, off the bed so this. people understand why Han doesn't want to sleep on it. I'm gonna have my foot there. Oh, okay. Oh, oh God, <laughs> mate, you ready? Wrong with it? <laughs> <laughs> you raise me up, so I, I can stand on the mountains. <laughs> I'm not sleeping here. If oh. you want me to be top groom, I've just gone out there at half past eleven at night and I've fed your horse, I've re rubbed your horse, I've re watered your horse. I am not sleeping here. Free up them. <laughs> no, please, I beg. Three in the bed. I beg I'm anything but three in the bed. Okay, the other option is you see. Guys, they're being dramatic. Oof. I've offered them the king size bed to the two of them. Have I not? When there are you going to go? I sleep here. I'm heavy enough to keep it down. <laughs> those, okay. those boobs. Night boo. Blame them. I'm it down. Right. See in the start box. <laughs> and a like cool transition. No, no, no. My my uh, videographer will film more than that, won't you, Megan? Yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, guys. See you in the morning. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I don't think I've ever cried at a dress like this. What did they say? They said, I only read the comments, I only read the comments. Lots to like, sparkle without silliness. He tried hard for you. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Here yeah, we go. Yeah, he tried hard by escaping a stable in the morning before the Yeah, and he's going to try hard for you out there yeah. across country. Oh, so you've got this. And the other says, super horse. Need to develop Thank more relax. <laughs> yeah, but I'm excited to be In his yeah. something so you can <laughs> develop the throughness. She's going to cry at throughness now. Over a supple back to be more submissive. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Cute. Oh, it's nice when you get loads of comments. Yeah, too, no, that is nice. Good feedback, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> country time. Got super groom there. banks. And then. Where art thou, rider? Here she is. Here's your watch, my darling. Hiding for the. Ah, oh, messy but good. Here we go. Hiding for the potential downpour. Right, no, hold on. <laughs> oh, there we were celebrating Ooh. sunshine earlier. Ah. All good. Right, is there anything we can do for you? <laughs> we're doing quite well for time now, it's fine. No, we're doing good, aren't we? Yep, you've we're got... just getting our bits together, getting them organised and trying to find... I just found my whips, but I'm a bit perplexed because I normally have a longer one like that. I like the thick, grippy hands yeah. of that length and I seem to only have these two. When you've had, what, when I always have my other one, but hey-ho, I mean... Decisions, decisions. At least I've got one. Well, I'm just going to take Addy for a hand grazing it and then... Yeah. Do you want some help, Em? Do you want me to do a stable while you're grazing her? Right, I'll come back with you. 
FYI guys, Meg does actually muck out occasionally. <laughs> I mean hands hands are tied. But oh, the I don't think you need to take that mucking out with you, Meg. Oh, do we need evidence? No, I, I'm not sure. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I muck out every day of my life. Yeah, you do. Right. Do. Transition. It's not an event. Wait, you've got nine horses. How do I get away with not mucking out? What, what's this transition then? Oh. Oh. <laughs> and then stop record. <laughs> Grooms at work. So we're getting our 10 minute box stuff ready. So we're getting spare reins. Obviously, all the banks is tight. We'll be wearing that for roads and tracks. We and then if we journey down here, Silvermore, shout out to you because you are keeping our wheelbarrow clean and also covering little rug for banks. I mean, Miss Emily Dobson, very organised, obviously has a box. Um, so I can't take any credit for that. That's Susie giving me a box for every phase now. Go hey, so we've put coat, spare gloves. Em's also got. A lick in there, very organised. Got like spare shoes, rags to dry, reins off from their neck. That's M stuff, but we need to stud banks. We'll have buckets. I'm alright, mate. I'm alright. I'm laughing. Got a long coat on. Um, you've got bridal number on. Yeah. Well, it's doing just pretty that lull, good. Isn't it? it is. Want to get on and get the adrenaline up now? She's there with the camera so quickly. Getting ready. Oh, you've done it before, man. And then we've got Banksy Booze, we're just about to stud him. But we need Emily's tap because someone was silly and broke it yesterday, didn't they, Banks? Or day before. <laughs> I need me celly tape. No, it's raining. This is our waterproof. <laughs> you know, this celly tape's a little bit old, so it's like sticking on both sides. So, <laughs> so it's double sticky. Double sticky. <laughs> Might stick to me. Oh, it is! <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to take that off and just get over there in time because I don't end to wear two watches, but I don't know how I feel about wearing two watches. Lovely, thank you, Maggie. Not too tight. No, it's perfect. perfect. Yeah, not cutting off the circulation. Yeah. Team's got yeah, no high. Where right. you come from? Excuse me. Right, where is Emma? I'm getting stressed about studs now. How are you feeling? A little bit shaky. I don't know why. It's horrible, isn't it? It's just the waiting, it's like yeah. waiting to go. Like once you're on, the adrenaline comes up and you feel good again, but the waiting around. <laughs> but it's now nice now that we can get him ready that you can actually get doing something. Get your mind off it a little yeah. bit. But you yeah. like the actual course, aren't you? Feeling yeah, I think the course looks that. lovely. It's just, and the ground is good. I'd much rather run him on this sort of ground than hard ground. Yeah. It's just keeping him balanced, isn't it? Because I just think it will be a bit slippy yeah. in places. So we've got to contain the enthusiasm, haven't we? Hey. Quite calm actually, it's calmer than what I thought it would be right now. I thought you'd yeah. be knowing what's happening. <laughs> Running to time, nearly time to get on. Roads and tracks, here Ooh. we come. Oh, the back is up. <laughs> Smile and sing or something. Gonna lead. Yeah. Can I let go? <laughs> yeah, just don't run or get any of you. Banksy says, I am ready, Mum. Says, you haven't taken me eventing enough this year. Woo! Yep. You good? Yeah, he's good. He's good. He's excited. Hi team! <laughs> oh, where is she? <laughs> Here I am! We've got Susie leading the way, we've got buckets, Susie, go to the right. Go to the right. cameras. T has gone off ahead because Banks is very excited to be going <laughs> eventing. Yeah, he was feisty. Um, but yeah, we're about. I think that'll make her feel better as yeah, well. Yeah, exactly. When they're so game for it, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> Ten I love minutes. How he switched. Thing. He was so good to do all stuff and tap and then it was the moment she was on. She was, he was like, "Yeah, let's Boing. go." Okay, now. <laughs> good boy, Banks. <laughs> Catching that content. We get to watch someone do it. How's he feeling? Yeah, good. Keen. Keen, but, <laughs> but sensible. Yeah. Good. Yeah. 
we came, as we just went to cross that crossing point, there was a grey like bonking and flying backwards. I was like, please do copy it. <laughs> Bless. Now get in for a second. Yeah. <laughs> this way, Banks. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Kazu Katsu. Yeah, in case we have a goal. Kazu Katsu need a wee in a minute. Is it water in there? Yes! <laughs> Fair question. <laughs> now I'll put ten in, don't I? <laughs> yeah. So you'll count, okay. No e minute markers are. I'll start will count down and then count up. Do you want to look at anything? Do you know? I will flip through the pictures actually because that's quite helpful. Good yeah. old cross country app. Good old cross country app. <laughs> There's a rubbish lady, thank you very much. Glad you came. Hope <laughs> <coughs> they've moved those flags. <laughs> I don't know what to say! <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited actually now. Yeah. Just to stay great. focused and stay straight yeah. and balanced, I think. Yeah. It's important just with it being deep and you just gotta keep just keep out of their way in the front, <coughs> let them figure out yeah. how to keep the balance back. I think I only got rid of half the flock. You just got a wing <laughs> left in there now. Good luck! You've got this boo. Go and get it! Woo! I wanna get to your clothes, gotta get it right now. I wanna push all the limits with you right now. So watch your feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight. We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now. People talk and tell what you wanna hear now. But they all disappear, they will let you down, so. I'm terribly sorry, T, I think I'm in the wrong place, but I didn't know where to stand.
happy, Cam? Oh, yeah, very happy. Yay. Very, very happy. Proud coach. I think very proud coach. I watched you through the last oh, quarter. Oh, I really just enjoyed it as well. And look yeah. mega. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. mega, T. You should be so proud. What a way to end the year with him. Yeah. Woo! So, after everything going on, this is your happy place. Just remember that. I like it here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, have we, have we got the tears finally? <laughs> We've actually already had them no, dressage. I'm so full of cold and flu, I'll start crying. I forgot my dressage chest. What did it say? can't remember now. It says something about like having the sparkle without being silly, sparkle. something like that. Lo lovely sparkle with no silliness. <laughs> Do Sorry. they know him? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then he tries so hard for you. Oh, yeah. That was the judge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where was it? Yeah. Oh, he does try hard. Yeah. Oh, you should be so proud of yourself. He? He's gone. Oh. He's gone. He's gone home, oh, mate. Oh. He's left you. Now well, Anne's got to do back. the same. Yeah. It's now Addie's turn. She's looking at Keen Bean, isn't she? Yeah. yeah you're gonna eat it up, Addie. You're gonna love it. Your first road track steeplechase, and Mummy's excited. And yeah. 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 A bit more enthusiasm with the yeah, please. Yeah! <laughs> You're gonna smash it. Addy's gonna smash it on the fucking right. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep her straight and balanced. Yeah. You are gonna smash it. How grateful are we for oh, the best support crew? crew. <laughs> Aren't we? Super teamwork. Super <laughs> team. Makes the dream work. Yeah. Bless Han, she's off washing Addy down, yeah. isn't she? She's long yeah. gone. She knows I her feel, job. But I know, but I feel guilty of like, the guilt of like, my, my, my home is. Like, no. Oh, no. no. Oh, you guys are all epic and I think... Yeah, we did so work. good. We did. We were swift, weren't we? Yeah. She was just walking around, I was washing her off. And I think we've got pretty much whole course on camera. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Including some of M's incredible stickability. <laughs> Equal we're all of that too. Oh, let's not get run over, ladies. Whee, let's, let's not get run over. <laughs> Our Wendy's are leaving us. But well, they've been the best groomies in the team. Oh, the best oh, time. That just made me feel really bad for Lucy then. Because I was like, oh, <laughs> Oh, we love you, Lucy. Lucy, could have driven down. Yeah. Wait a minute, she when has Lucy always... ever made the effort to come to Big Turn? Oh, it's far from hey, And it's not Launchton for it's a It's not Launchton, it's closer than Launchton, Lucy. <laughs> oh. oh. No, thank you very, very much. Pleasure. Well, and we miss you around. I'm yeah. so excited to be refreshing your scores a lot. Oh, yeah, tomorrow. right now, and me. Good luck, don't stress though. You've got you're this. Just yeah, doing, you're yeah, doing, you've yes. got this. Yeah. What are you doing tomorrow? Do you know what? I want to do it for the team. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, our team is currently in first That's place, so doing that. it for the team. Yeah, yeah. 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 for the prize given. Whoop, whoop. Hopefully, fingers yeah. crossed, don't curse anything or because Lashy is love men. you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you for being. Bye, bye, gorgeous. Thank you for my boy. No worries at all. Yeah, good luck, guys. Mm. Two yeah. rows down now. Good, good oh. luck to the horses, I say. <laughs> <laughs> I might kidnap her actually. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Meg gets the best footage, but Anne <laughs> takes like care of monkey. my pony best. She's like a little monkey. <laughs> Aww. Right, come on, we yeah. get Love Bye. you. Safe travels. Bye. Bye. Good luck. Bye. Love Bye. you lots. Bye. Have fun in London and. Um, Say goodbye to Carrie Ann She's in the. The camera. Emerald Isle. Oh, yeah. Emerald. <laughs> Emerald is the colour. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Good morning, Banks. So it's the third and final day. It's shut up time and I'm running late and I'm on my own. So I haven't actually even got my camera with me because I was stressing a bit about batteries and stuff. So I was like, no, just capture a few bits on your phone. Got my bridle. Naomi kindly flattered Banksy for me this morning. I'm a little bit husky, so I won't be doing much talking today. Party last night was epic, as always. Um, yeah, anyway, best stop talking to camera. Let's go get my pony. And fingers crossed, can't do that with reins between my fingers. He passes and we can go through to the final stage, which is the show jumping, which is quite a bit later this afternoon, which is also a bit nerve wracking, but first things first, let's wake Banksy up because he's sleeping and get to the trot up.
Oh, thank you. No worry. <laughs> Poppy's at our first. Oh, she already pops. Hand down to Pops, babe. She's looking so inquisitive. Darling, show Poppy. Looking very inquisitive, wondering why her mummy's up on a horse. Oh, now she's whining. I'm winding her up. Perhaps I'll leave her to it. But show jumping time. <laughs> See you in a bit. Good luck. Definitely feeling a bit nervous because obviously the team's in first place. So I feel pressure to perform. Fingers crossed. So Banksy warmed up beautifully on the surface with Cam. He was pinging very well and I actually felt really confident and really good and was excited to get in there and ride it. The nerves were at bay as soon as he felt fabulous. But when we went into the arena, he suddenly got very excited as we went through the white gates. I think he thought it was a start box and I suddenly had to restrain him a little bit more. He felt very exuberant. However, we went over the first three beautifully. We had done a course walk with Cam prior to this and he had um, reiterated the importance of getting a good square turn to that oxa and then coming out wide to this double as well, not trying to go straight until we got past those top spec banners and he pinged the double beautifully and then unfortunately just around this corner I let his exuberance take over a little and he got a little bit onward bound jumped that one nicely but I should have checked between there and where we I thought we were going on six we ended up going on seven oh, and I was gutted honestly I don't know if the shadows had a little bit of play in it too, but I'm not making excuses. As soon as that rail went down, my heart dropped and it completely made me realise that actually it did mean a lot to me. Going over that double though, he jumped it beautifully. We managed to recompose well to get the double to then that oxa and then round this corner to the final fence, still feeling full of beans and he pinged it beautifully. Big pats for the boy. I was elated. It had been a challenging track with only 28% going clear. However, like I said, it just wasn't until that moment that I realised just how much it had actually meant to me and I knew we'd have dropped a lot of places. But didn't realise we'd actually still be in the top 20. Woo! Oh, you don't get to do a lap of one of this year, Bings. No! I don't want to be in there. But you might have qualified. You might have. We're waiting to find out. Waiting patiently. Look at him watching. <laughs> I don't want to be in there. But you can tell them all about to leave. I want to go join them. Look at you, Pops, your first horse show. Good boy, Sam Sam. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Well done in the third. Gina Wallace, Lizzie Lodgson, Emily Dobson, Carrie Ann Lonston. They're here for the bear and they finish in third. <laughs> well deserved. Carrots for oh, my clever and precious boy. Mr. Consistent, aren't you? Hey? Mummy did let you down ever so slightly, giving us that four faults, but I'm still chuffed. He's ended up 16th which we're yet to know whether that is a qualifying score. Um, last year in the prize giving they announced that it was 20% that qualify, but they haven't actually said that yes or no this year, so we don't know whether it's 10% or 20%. There's 109 starters, so regardless of whether it's a qualifying score or not, I'm just absolutely chuffed with how well he did, considering we've only done one event this year, 
how up for it he was and how yeah mr reliable and mr consistent he was you loved the fact that we did actually get to go back into that main arena for the prize giving of the teams because our team came third which is fabulous too and yeah great fun i now i'm taking studs out plats out packing everything up robbie's in here sorting the motorhome out doggies have been very very good probably at our first horse show probably should not be on the leather seat but yeah they're gonna come home with me <laughs> and yeah i'm just elated i've had a great time fabulous fun with my friends and fabulous teamies and support crew who have been epic and most of all my number one boy who's thoroughly enjoyed himself and in turn enabled me to thoroughly enjoy myself too so yeah i will over and out i think because this video is bound to have been extremely long hopefully i may well be able to tell you that i get an email from b to say that 16 16 out of 109 was good enough for a qualifying score but cameron did tell me that apparently it depends on how all the other regional finals and stuff went so we will see it's not the end of the world if it's not is it banks we did thoroughly enjoy it and i yeah i do just i do wish we'd had a double clear if i'm honest because i just think that it was the smallest jump in the course and just a bit a bit frustrating and a bit yeah not really anything that he he didn't deserve it he deserved a clear round because he was jumping so fab thank you very much for watching and for all the lovely supportive encourage encouraging that was encouraging and motivating mixed into one word <laughs> encouraging and motivating messages it is really hard here at Bicton to see them and reply to them though because unfortunately you don't get very good signal at all but I will look forward to reading and catching up on them and looking back through some of the footage later tonight when I get home but for now let's try and get my precious cargo and these two vehicles off the site before we actually are the last ones left here I have seen quite a few lorries needing to be towed out but I'm hoping oh I'm saying that I think that one's just about to get stuck I'm hoping that we aren't too heavy and we can get out without the need for that anyways as i said waffling over and out please do like comment and subscribe if you don't already and i feel like it's been a very positive way to end our very short-lived eventing season that started awfully but has ended fabulously and it's made me excited to get back out again next year because i will admit i was contemplating not but i'm gonna i'm gonna i've said it here hold me accountable please guys banksy it's definitely still loves this job and definitely still wants to be the cross-country machine that he is don't you mate he says yes i very much do Mwah. right bye from me guys <laughs> i can end the vlog without telling you the news oh i can't believe it We've qualified! <laughs> so I've only come out to give Banksy some stud muffins to tell him the news and to congratulate him and thank him for being the most epic pony in the world because I actually think it's quite a thing to qualify two years in a row. <laughs> I know we didn't get to go last year, but we 100% touch wood will be going this year. And I think, yeah, it just makes me very, very proud. Mwah. <laughs> oh honestly when i clicked on the checker this morning i'll pop it up here i did not expect it to have refreshed or updated that quickly but i thought there's no harming looking and the amount of you that have actually messaged me today on instagram that have looked yourselves as well and seen already meant that i had to put it on the end of this vlog i couldn't know and not tell the rest of you um, so yeah, thank you all for all the fabulous support. Thank you Banksy for being so incredible and I am so excited. I think the fact that we didn't get to go this year made it made me have more of a fire in my belly to want to get back there and to think that we've only done one event prior to going to Bicton just yeah confirms what a special and clever boy he is. Very very proud of you my mate and I can't wait to take you to Babington.